and welcome to Levon's Kitchen. Today in the kitchen, I am cooking some French onion soup. Yes. So let's get to it with our ingredients. First of all, I have some Swanson's beef broth. I have some Gruyere cheese, some mozzarella cheese. I have my French baguette. I've got three large onions. For seasoning, I have some black pepper, some salt, <laughs> salt, and some Italian seasoning. So, a lot of people use thyme and bay leaves and things like that in their French onion soup, but most of all that stuff is already in here, so I am going to cut out the middleman and just use the Italian seasoning. First thing you have to do is cut up all these onions. So I am going to slice all of these onions so that I can cook them. And while I'm doing that, you know what I need you to do? Yep, hit that subscribe button. That allows you to request um, recipes that you'd like to see. It allows you to see all of my videos because they'll automatically come to you if you are a subscriber. And you can go down in the comments, talk to me about what I've done, what I've cooked, what you cooked, that you see me cook, how it came out, how you liked it, all that kind of stuff. We can just go back and forth talking. I love to talk to my subscribers, so make sure you talk to me. So, oh, and I've got some olive oil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my stick of butter and a little olive oil in my pot and let that melt. And while that's melting, I'm going to cut up my onions because I'm going to put the onions in there. So I'm going to put that in there and start cutting up my onions. And I will see you, because that's going to take me a minute, because sometimes I cry when I cut up a lot of onions. These onions are strong. So I will see you in about three or four minutes after my I've cut up my onion. I'll be right back. So my butter, and olive, my butter has melted in here with my olive oil. I'm still chopping up these onions. But I think two is going to be enough. These are some really large onions, so I think two is going to be enough because I'm only making four bowls of soup. So, almost finished cutting my onions. Add, I'm going to add that to the butter and oil, and then I will season it and then start to cut up my French bread. So, I think that's enough onions. Yeah. So I'm just going to add this in here. Stir these up really well. I'm going to add some seasoning, my Italian seasoning. It won't be much. A little salt and pepper. Gonna stir those. I'm just gonna let those sit there and turn translucent. I don't want them to, to brown them. I just want them to be translucent. Get them all stirred up. I want to make sure they're all coated with the butter and oil. Okay, so while that's cooking, I am going to go ahead and chop up my French bread. I'm just gonna slice some about a quarter of an inch thick. You see that? About a quarter of an inch thick. And we'll just put them in the bowl for right now. I'm only making four bowls of soup. When you make French onion soup, you actually, you do cook it in a pot, but then you finish it off in the bowl. And so, like I said, I'm making four bowls of soup. So as you can see, I've got four bowls ready for my soup. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these up. Oh, those onions smell good. They're not as strong as I thought they were. They actually smell really good. No tears here. I love French bread. <laughs> Do so many different things with it. 
as you know, if you guys remember from my um, the avocado toast appetizer, I use French bread for those because they're, they're little bitty pieces, so it makes perfect appetizers. Yeah, I just want them translucent. I don't want them, and they're getting there. I don't want them um, to brown. So as soon as those are translucent, I'm going to add my beef stock. Now, a lot of people add red wine to theirs as well. If you know me, I don't really cook with wine, so I'm just gonna use beef stock. So that's gonna take just a few more minutes to cook. I don't know if they're ready. Yeah, almost ready. I'll give it one more minute. So what I'm gonna do now is cut up my Gruyere cheese. I'm gonna shred it up. This is some delicious cheese. So I'm just going to shred this up. I think my onions are about done. Let me get this bread out of the way. Let me give this one more stir. Yep, they're ready. So I am going to go ahead and add my beef stock. It smells so good. And this actually may be enough to make more than my four bowls, which is good. Because then I can have another bowl later on. These are um, 32 ounce containers of beef stock. So we're going to have a lot of soup. Yeah, I think I will be able to have more than one bowl. So I guess I will need to cut up the rest of that bread, huh? I love French onion soup. It's not something I eat often, and, and I don't know why, because it's so easy to cook. Okay, I'm going to let that simmer for a while, and while that's simmering, I'm going to finish shredding up my cheese, and I'll be right back. So, as you can see, I've shredded up my Gruyere cheese, and what I'm going to do is mix some of the mozzarella cheese with this. A little bit of that in there. I'm gonna mix that up. Oh, can you see this? Oh, it's bubbling, it's smelling so good. Let me turn it down just a little. Um, so. so, you know what I wanna do? I didn't put any garlic in there. I just want to put just a very little bit of garlic powder in there. Just a little. Garlic and onions just go so well together. <sighs> okay, so what I'm going to do, remember my four bowls. Let's go ahead and turn this off. So I'm going to take these and fill up each bowl. So, I've got my four bowls of soup, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to take that French bread and line up, line them up in each one. See that soup is soaking up that bread already? That's what I wanted to do. That's it. Exactly what I wanted to do. Maybe fit another piece in here. I just want to make sure it's all the way covered. Some people use croutons for this, but French bread is just so much better, if you ask me. Okay, we want that to soak up, and then we're just going to sprinkle some cheese on top. Did 
gonna sprinkle a lot of cheese on top. <laughs> oh, and then I'm gonna pop these in the broiler and just let the cheese melt and the um the basically the cheese will melt, the bread will toast just a little up under that cheese. And our soup will be done and ready to eat. Pop this in the broiler just long enough to let the cheese melt. So I can hear the cheese bubbling. It's ready to come out of the oven. Oh yes, there we go. Look at that. Nice and cheesy, bubbly. Let's close this, turn this off. And we are going to taste the soup. So, I don't know about you, but I am so ready to taste the soup. It's smelling so good. Look at the cheese. If you can see, ooh, you could just see it. Look at this. Oops, it's still hot, you guys. Uh, well, I'm gonna show it to you like this. Look at that cheese. You can see the bread right there. Can you see that? Make sure I've got onions in there. Can you give me an onion? Okay, it's still hot. As you can see, all this smoke. Mmm. 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 Mm. It's hot, but it's so good. Oh, yeah. I haven't had no good French onion soup in a long time. This is good. Oh, well. I'm going to finish eating this, and I will see you guys next time in the kitchen. Bye.